Pisces, welcome to Universal Guidance Tarot. It's time for your monthly reading. June's reading is coming up here. All right, Pisces. This is a two-part reading. The overall energy of this reading will be the middle card in the first part of the reading. So I have already shuffled these cards the regular way, really good, before getting on camera. I'm just shuffling them in front of you so you can see that, yes, they are mixed up. Okay, let's take out the cards we need for our Pisces for June, universe. Pisces for June, please. Pisces for June. What can you expect? Pisces for June. Pisces. And I must say, you have shown up in a two or three readings pretty strongly already. Pisces. So, you know, your highest energy is the tower. So you're going through something, a breakup, uh, something that's not very fun anyway. Oh, it is. It's, it's the turning your back on love. It's the walking away. Somebody walked away or you walked away from a love relationship. I have two cards that goes toward your second part of the reading. So the overall energy here is the Eight of Cups. This is what we're going to talk about, the walking away. Someone turned their back on love here. I think it was them uh, because you're in the tower moment. So I think someone walked away from a relationship with you uh, recently or it's going to happen in June. If this is your reading. <laughs> so, up in your highest energy, I have the tower. There, there it is, the destruction of, the, the oh my gosh, you know, it's uh, the falling apart of. Um, not an easy thing to get through. When you're in the tower moment, it is, it's, it's difficult. It's right next to the emperor, which is a card for Aries. Aries might be involved or strong around this reading someplace but the emperor now this could be your energy it is on your energy line but that doesn't always mean it's your energy uh, it means it's very close because right next to the tower so it could be the other person too but it looks to me like i think this is the other person by taking a more of a broad look at this but for most of you. So the emperor is kind of strong headed. Um, they are, they like to be a leader. They like their ideas um, to be the idea. Okay. If they have their way of looking at something and you have a different way of looking at it, um, trying to get your way for them to see things your way, just for a compromise even, you know, um, a lot of times they just block themselves off. They're like, nope, I already know it. Nope, nope, already got it. I already, already know the answer. No, you can't convince me. So um, they sometimes can be narcissistic. I, I got to put that out there. Um, usually they are a, a leader in their profession. They do like the lead. Um, they're very grounded. They're very um, secure and grounded and stable. Uh, so, you know, they have their good qualities, too. It looks to me here, next to the emperor, um, they might have been a friend before uh, you even met them, or you met them through friends, or you met them uh, through a, um, a gala, like going to the bar, having fun, going dancing, or at a party, a birthday party, just a, a, a springtime party, whatever it might be. Um, because it looks like the two of you really did have some fun together. <laughs> and this is probably why you're in such a tower moment. 
because you you remember the good times like why why i have the ace of swords talk about why why under the tower card next to the walking away this is the sword for truth and clarity and this is what you need to uh, move forward okay very important i think you are going to get some truth and clarity the aces are very very strong energy and it is about the walking away why did they turn their back on you you are going to be moving forward um this is the the uh the world or the will of fortune sorry the will of fortune and when the will of fortune turns it pulls you along with it this is the universe that's why i said the world it's actually bigger than the world it's the universe and um so it's always for the better that's why it's called the will of fortune the will is turning it's moving you forward so part of this breakup or uh, walking away is meant to be um you know it could be meant to be that there was too much partying there was too much drinking or something going on but for whatever reasons um it, it's like you need to move forward i have the page of wands under the ace of swords well there's where your truth and clarity is going to come from so you have questions and you're going to ask because it brews in this card from the bottom of your feet and it comes out your mouth and you're holding that staff of fresh starts and new beginnings and so you you kind of need some clarity you, you need some closure and you will get it you will get the truth i have the justice card right next to the page of wands and right under the eight of cups so the justice card is the card for libra libra might be strong in somebody's chart around this reading but pisces you're holding your sword up in self-protection. You have your scales and you're trying to keep them balanced. You're trying not to let this throw you off as much as it really is because the tower is in your highest energy. But I do feel like you do become balanced once you get your answers. That's really important to you in moving forward because you are moving forward. I have the Knight of Pentacles next to the Justice card and under the Wheel of Fortune. You know, this has been a long time coming. Um, I don't think your re relationship was really ever that grounded um, with this Knight of Pentacles. This is the slowest energy in the whole deck. And they're bringing a pentacle, and the pentacle is about security, stability, uh, engagement, whatever, but um, they're slow. The universe is trying to move you away from all this. Let me get some more answers so I still need cards please for, for the second part of this reading for Pisces universe okay let's see what we have here that came out So the Two of Swords is right next to the Three of Cups. This is not seen. Uh, it's like not dealing with a situation. I think whoever this was is walking away. I think they. Uh, it, it really feels like, if this is your reading, that they, they, they want to party too much. They party too much. There's something going on there. Um, I, I think you were kind of ignoring the situation there for a while. Your heart was guarded because love was becoming involved. You've got all these cups here. Um, and you've got the blindfold on. It's like not dealing with it. It's like an ostrich putting their head in the sand. Um, but, you know, we went from the Three of Cups to the Three of Pentacles. There might have been somebody else in the picture. That might be why they walked away. Uh, this is not seeing eye to eye. This is not being able to work together. 
So the groundedness and the stability and security is really not there. This is a black card. Um, so I feel like there's another energy here involved in this reading. I do have the Page of Pentacles next to the Three of Pentacles. I think you're really trying to figure out the situation. Um, the Page of Pentacles is looking at that pentacle as if it's a crystal ball, like trying to see um, the future, trying to see, you know, are they going to return to me? Uh, how long has this been going on? What, you know, what's ahead for me? Um, whatever it might be, uh, you really want that security and that stability with this page of pentacles and that's what you're focused on so i did have the hierophant come out and it right under the two of wands the next to the universe the will of fortune moving you forward um the hierophant so you know i think i really think that you were hoping that this relationship would turn out to be one that would be grounded a uh, traditional style, uh, you know, to traditional morals, traditional uh, like marriage, um, and very grounded. It's a very spiritual card. It is a card for marriage. Um, it is a card for Taurus also. So Taurus might be strong in somebody's chart around the reading, but um, I think that you were you're just moving past that. Um, you were kind of blocking out. I think that they're, uh, this emperor, or whoever, male or female, they're all male or female, that this emperor person who has walked away from you, um, I think you were just kind of ignoring that they were maybe seeing someone else, or, or there was something, some other energy involved. And so this three of pentacles can also be another energy involved. And I want to point that out, especially with the Three of Cups here. So they might drink too much or do some sort of drugs too much or uh, have some sort of addiction, um, gamble, whatever, uh, that you were kind of letting slide. That's why um, what you really wanted was not happening. You're going to be moving past all that with the chariot right here. Um, this is the card for Cancer. Cancer might be strong in somebody's chart around this reading. But this tells me you're moving forward from this whole situation. Definitely. I have the Magician right next to the Chariot and under the Page of Pentacles. So you're trying to figure out what does your future hold for you, okay? You are moving forward. You can feel the pushing and pulling usually when this uh, Will of Fortune is here. And the whispering in your ear and you're making decisions and, and you feel like you're being pushed forward. So um, you have the card of the magician here. You have the infinity symbol, which is a symbol of intuition and knowing. And you have all the tools to get what you want from life. And you will know how to use those tools. Follow your intuition and you will use those tools properly to get what you want. And it has to do with your future. I have the Page of Swords under the Hierophant next to the Knight of Pentacles. It's that really tediously slow moving energy. And then the Hierophant, what you're looking for. Um, the Page of Swords here is you're on guard. So um, you, you became on guard. Like uh, I think you were on guard in a way because you were blocking. You had the Two of Swords. And you were kind of blocking um, what you probably already knew. Uh, with the Page of Swords now in moving forward, uh, you're moving forward with your sword up now, with your blindfold off. <laughs> so this way you can prevent these Knight of Pentacles type energies from coming in and taking up all your time when, when it's not going anywhere. I do have the Four of Swords next to the Page of Swords and under the Chariot. So the Four of Swords is you, it's like meditation, praying, soul searching uh, in your quiet times and trying to allow the Swords to come to you. Because Swords are about truth and clarity and self-protection. So um, 
I, I feel like you get a lot of help by just meditating, taking your quiet times. I don't care how you do it, you know, whether it's soaking in a tub, sitting by a spring or uh, a creek, um, or just actually um, doing meditation. Um, you are actually letting these swords of truth and clarity come to you. And I think you do that as part of your healing process and moving forward because it, it's right under the chariot. I have the five of pentacles next to the four of swords and under the magician. So um, this is like feeling left out in the cold. I think it was kind of sudden that this person walks away. And if it hasn't happened yet, it, it'll probably happen in June. But you're definitely moving forward in June and um, your healing. The Four of Swords is a very strong healing card. Uh, it's very spiritual by letting all this uh, clarity come to you. So with this Five of Pentacles, um, you're going to feel left out in the cold. You're going to feel lonely, um, disregarded in a way. Uh, but the cards want you to know you have everything, okay? You can manifest what it is that you want, even if it isn't this person who walks away from you. So, you know, I think you need advice. I'm, I'm going to take out a card. I'm not always taking these out anymore. So, let's turn these. Oops, there it is right there. Okay, so what we have is Angel Shanti. I'm going to read this card to you. I am the angel of peace. I bring new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. So, you know, you're, you're in some rough times. It looks like you're going to, or you're going to be in some rough times if this is your reading. But this is a card of encouragement. Um, this is the angel of peace and tranquility and um, that everything is going to be better going down the road. Shanti. So, Pisces, thank you for watching Universal Guidance Tarot, and much peace and love to you.